Warning, the following video contains a ton of swearing because there was no script and I have the flu. So everybody, it's me, it's Scottish, and today I'm actually going to do a little review on the new Call of Duty 2019 Modern Warfare. Now, the game mode in front of you are seeing is called Cyber Attack. Now, this is kind of like the competitive mode, I think it completely replaces Search and Destroy. Now, I'm actually quite keen in this mode simply because it's like Search and Destroy, you get a ton of experience. Uh, if you die, you die until your teammates get you back up. Now that's quite fun. Now, as anybody that knows me knows I do not quite like Call of Duty games. I always thought they were a little, eh. But this particular Call of Duty game has done an awful lot of things right. The previous Call of Duty game just didn't. For example, Recoil. It's a fucking thing now. As well as that, the new weaponsmithing is absolutely amazing. As someone who plays a ton of Escape from Tarkov, at first when I saw it, I'm like... Mm, it's just a new screen when you unlock stuff, but no. Turns out you don't actually have to do anything to unlock stuff, bar use the fucking gun. Now, you can only put so many attachments on a gun, but in turn, that's still quite fun. As well as that, the selection of maps is very, very good. I am actually quite enjoying it. Even the system specs, which I'll bring up in the screen in a moment. This game runs on that. So, like, running this game on any modern hardware is very easy. Now, like I said, the weaponsmithing is something else, and just now I'm putting on the screen an actual video of me just kind of footing around with the weaponsmithing. Some of the stuff in it is really great. Some of the scopes you unlock as well, one of the ones is like a variable zoom holographic that I use all the time in Tarkov. It's not even cumbersome to use these things as well. You simply aim down sights, and all I have to do is tap shift. I now have a variable sight on my M4, and the guns in this game, the time to kill is so fucking low. It feels a lot more realistic. Headshots seem to do damage. Two shots to the head, someone's down. Four shots to the body, someone's down. Only kind of issue I have right now, will y'all just like stop drop shotting and jumping around corners? Nobody fucking likes you kids. Now hopefully in some of the clips you've seen, you've seen me do this thing. It comes up on the screen that says, mount. Now, all that is, and I shit you not, is you just hug a corner and kind of peek around that you have an actual peek on it as well. This is actually really fun and I use that an awful lot as well as that. It actually kind of go quicker getting to where you're going with the mount. As well as that, if you've got a sniper, it's just like, it's infinite steady scope without holding your breath. Why wasn't this in previous games or any other game for that matter? Now, the next best thing that this game's done, in my opinion, that an awful lot of games haven't done, is it's actually introduced this whole thing called Don't Bother Aiming, Just Click. Now, in Tarkov, this is basically called Point and Shoot, and, well, you can do it in this game as well, quite effectively if need be. At close range, you still have a good chance of hitting them, and even down a corridor, you'll still at least get two or three hits. Sometimes you could even get the kill with, like, an M4 or an AK. As well as that, shotguns are fucking amazing. Don't even at me, the shotguns in this game are so much fucking fun. Uh, you do not understand the absolute laugh you get just running around, watching some guy round the corner and blowing him across the room. Fucking love it, man. Now, on the topic of guns, since we're talking about the beta as well, we should also talk about other guns, such as the sniper rifle, and oh boy, the only sniper rifle you get, it kinda looks like the intervention. It kinda sounds like a Barrett 50 cal. This thing is deafening. These guns are meatier than they've ever been. These guns are absolutely amazing to play with. I honestly do feel like I am holding a sniper rifle and firing it when I hear it go off. And even the impacts, the impacts are so meaty with the sniper rifle. Like, I mean, you shoot someone and they die, they fly back. This is like World at War with that sniper rifle that fucking took your legs off. So for me, we need to talk about crossplay now because I haven't had the best experience with crossplay when it comes to games like oh, Rocket League. So with Rocket League, you could communicate with the people on the other consoles, but it was only with text chat, and even then, it was only pre-designated little fucking talk box. So half the time, when they fucked up the save, you'd just spam right, right, what a save, right, right, what a save, right, right, what a save. Not the best experience. Well, Infinity War 1 up to everyone can use their microphones in the game and talk, and funnily enough, it all does sound like little radios, it's so cool. Or, since, you know, I'm on PC, if my friends are on PlayStation, I can just load up the PlayStation app and my PlayStation and talk with them. Or, if they're on Xbox, I can just load up the companion app and talk to them on there. Or, we can all just use Discord on our fucking phones, because this is the 21st century and it's almost 2020. What a great time to be alive, am I right? Now, two of my biggest issues with this game are the kill streaks. first of all. Now, even though they are quite fun, I would say most of the maps take place mainly indoors and not so much outdoors now, so things like Harrier Jets and Chopper Gunner, it's kind of pointless. 
He was well with like UAVs, counter UAVs, personal radars and the juggernaut set. Well as that, one thing that definitely needs tweaked is the fucking spawn points because I hate spawning and just having someone run into me. The good news however, is that they actually have to shoot me. Melee has been turned into butting someone with the back of your gun and default melee is two hits. Thought soldiers carried knives. Now, two new modes that are kind of in the game are called Gunfight and Ground War. Now, Gunfight is a little 2v2 thing. Sometimes you get given random loadouts to use and kill with. The other one is Secure on Site, where you just pick up the shit on the floor and use it to your advantage. Now, that's kind of fun, although as soon as people start losing, they're like, oh, I'm just going to quit. And it's like, wow, nice one. Let's not try pull this back, you fucking cunt. Now, all in all, there's only about two or three maps for this game mode. And quite honestly, they are kind of small, but they're 100% symmetrical in every way. So one side isn't more imbalanced than the other. It's just the weapon spawns you got to worry about, really. I would say just like, the worst thing about it is the people quitting out and also the queue times. You can wait a little while to get a game in that mode. But it is fun when you get it and it does go all the way up to six. So technically speaking, if you trade round for round, you could go all the way up to 12. 12 rounds which is a good 10 minutes. I would just say the worst thing is like some of the maps like the outside one pine that is just quite brushy I suppose is a lack of better word it's kind of set in a forest so like sometimes it can just be a little hard to see and in that map it's like you know what you need sniper rifles no don't need a sniper rifle mate I need a good gun as well as that the mode also has this very short timer however if you can't find the other guy or you're both trying to out camp each other when the timer starts to run down there is what they call the overtime flag all you have to do is capture that and boom, your team is won. Next up's the really big game mode that clearly just says, Hi, I am a diet battlefield, and it's called Ground War. 32 v 32. You get shit like helicopters, APCs, quad bikes, fucking tanks. I mean, like, you, it clearly is a battlefield game mixed into a Call of Duty game, and it is kind of fun. Ground War is just a big game of headquarters with five capture points, and I feel this is definitely where the kill streaks such as Harrier and shit do come into play a lot better than other modes like TDM. You got your five capture points, and obviously, you know, you're gonna take the first two that's closest to you, and you'll think, oh, we're just gonna fight over the middle one. That ain't how it goes down. Nah, not with the helicopters and the snipers and all the other shit. Like, people just end up in places they should not be in. If you think that you can go into this game and you're just gonna like fucking trump and win, it is another thing coming. You are not guaranteed the win, even if it's looking good on your end. It just steamrolls. It is honestly one of the best and worst game modes ever. Before you know it, they will have your very own capture point right outside your HQ. You are all spawning there, you are all getting decimated there, you have no idea what's going on and you fall into a deep state of ah well we are fucked now, which you definitely are. Ground War. 10 out of 10 if you're fucking masochist. Now in all honesty, to get access to this beta I initially had to pre-order the game so I could play it from the 19th and I will not lie, it was a good decision. I actually don't feel like I've wasted money, I want to play this game. I'm usually the guy that plays Call of Duty for the stories but the fucking multiplayer is decent enough. I want it for the multiplayer and the story, I might be playing this in a year's time, guaranteed. I can't really give it a score though because it's a fucking beta but I am saying it's looking promising and I hope that the actual full release is just as good. I hope there's no microtransactions. I would fucking ruin it. Now the beta's only got a few days left however if you thought you know I might get it, I might not, I highly recommend you do get it. It is quite fun and anything else it's something to do. The crossplay is definitely good. You can finally be able to play a game with your friends on another console on a different platform. It's definitely worth it. As well as that, it's going to give you a rough idea what the rest of the game's going to be like. I myself, I'm still going to be playing it after this video's rendered and I've had dinner, so... Yeah. So given it's a free world and you're going to do what you're going to do, I'm going to say I recommend this game and if you're going to buy it, go ahead. If you're not going to buy it, well, I don't think I've changed your mind. But, either way, I do hope you enjoyed the video at least and I'm glad you stuck around this far. So I'll see you all in a bit and remember, don't like and subscribe if you don't want. I ain't going to tell you what to do. Now I think all in all there's maybe only about 2 or 3 maps for this game mode, but it is a good game mode and it is quite fun, but trying to find a match for it's fuck off.